What is up, Flutter Devs? Where did those last three months go? I mean, just a minute ago, it was Christmas, it was New Year's, and now it's Q2. Q2 2022. That's what we're talking about today. End of Q1, beginning of Q2. What did I get done over the last three months? What do I expect to see over the next three months? Let's talk about it. All right. Goodbye, Q1. Hello, Q2. Well, in Q1, uh, well, at, in, our, in the last video, at the beginning of Q1, I said, I'm going to try to kind of button up Flutter processing, get it to a point where I feel like I can just hand it to the community and maybe we experiment with it a bit. Maybe I fix some bugs, but generally speaking, the videos on this channel about processing are kind of over unless I create something really interesting and then I'll share it with you. But in terms of developing Flutter processing uh, publicly in video form, that's going to be done at this point. And so what you're seeing on the screen here is on the left, Flutter processing version 020 has now been released. As of this video, that includes all the latest changes. There are still some 2D rendering APIs that need to be implemented, things around contours, curves, um, specifically a certain type of spline that you can draw in processing that our Skia API in Flutter doesn't support, so it's unclear how to implement that. For now, it's not implemented. But I would say that most of the 2D rendering APIs are available. If you've been watching the videos, you know that, of course, not only can you draw all sorts of shapes, but you can also set and query individual pixel colors, which gives you that full kind of bitmap or compositing control, at least at the software level. So you, you can do a lot of things with Flutter processing at this point. And I've also established a marketing web page. And of course, the marketing web page itself is built with Flutter. And on that page, you can get just some basic information about Flutter processing. It also links you to the traditional processing project. It links you to Flutter for those developers that know processing, but they don't know Flutter. There's a neat little hype video at the beginning, and then some examples, code examples, and links down below. Flutter processing is now essentially done. Not necessarily stable, still lots of APIs that could be implemented, but I'm moving it towards the community. If you know of any instructors that would like to use it, I would encourage you to get them to try it. Let's see if we can get this in the education space, whether that's high schools, universities, whatever. Uh, I think the more people that use Flutter processing, the better for Flutter because we can move them from Flutter processing, which is an educational environment, over into Flutter in production for applications and web pages, which allows us to expand our industry. All right, what's next? The, probably the biggest announcement of Q1 was version 020 of Super Editor, not to be confused with version 020 of Flutter Processing. We took Super Editor Mobile, so Super Editor now has nominal support for Android and iOS, and that's in addition to its existing support for Mac desktop and web. It's possible that things run on Windows and Linux, we just haven't tried it. You can give it a try if you'd like. Eventually, those platforms will be officially supported, but we need to get people involved in the project who actually use Windows and Linux so that they can make sure that it runs. I also did a bit of a uh, PR tour. I did a couple episodes of Flying High with Flutter, where, as you can see, I talked about the Flutter Bounty Hunters. I'll talk more about that in just a moment. I also went on Hump Day Q&A with Simon and Scott to talk about Super Editor and Flutter Bounty Hunters. And then I attended an in-person live meetup here in Silicon Valley. I think it's just called Flutter Silicon Valley. Uh, and then I talked there as well about Super Editor and the Flutter Bounty Hunters. So I had some fun with those events and I plan to do more in the future. Um, I think the Flutter Silicon Valley is every two months. So I expect to be there every time they do that. But also if there are other local events here in Silicon Valley, I might try to attend those as well. And maybe I'll drop by Hump Day Q&A with Simon and Scott a bit more often. We'll see. Which brings us to the Q2 preview. What am I focused on over the next three months? Well, I had been working for the last year for a mortgage company. That contract came to an end. And what that means for me now is even more focus and emphasis on the Flutter Bounty Hunters. So I'll be working even harder to put out proof of concept projects 
that maybe get companies excited to fund further production on those proofs of concept. Uh, I'll be putting in more time into the existing projects like Super Editor. I will be finally onboarding some other Flutter bounty hunters to join me in this effort. And all around, I really want to get Flutter bounty hunters to the point where it is self-sustaining. So that's where most of the focus is going to be over the next three months. And if you're curious about Flutter bounty hunters, if this is the first time you've heard about it, you can find Flutter bounty hunters in all these places at Flutter Bounties on Twitter, FlutterBountyHunters.com, Flutter Bounty Hunters on YouTube, although the the name, I'm not sure YouTube has given me a channel name yet, but there is a channel on YouTube for Flutter Bounty Hunters and then on GitHub at Flutter-Bounty-Hunters. Uh, also, you know, stay tuned to this channel. I will be, because I have some more time uh, now that I'm done with that mortgage company, I plan to come back and start doing some widget workshops, some flutter challenges, more educational videos that I've missed out on over most of the past year because I've been so busy on other things. Make sure you subscribe to the channel that you're watching right now so you're notified about those videos. Click that notification bell or whatever they call it these days uh, and look forward to some interesting live coding videos on this channel once again. And again, not not Flutter processing, that's done. We're going to go back to more traditional uh, Flutter coding on this channel. That is a look back on Q1, a look ahead at Q2. At the rate things are going, I'm going to turn around and be doing the review for Q2 in three months. So hopefully time goes slowly enough for me to accomplish some things between now and then. Otherwise, I'll see you on this channel. I'll see you on all things Flutter Bounty Hunters. If you'd like to fund any Flutter Bounty Hunter milestones, please do reach out. Also, uh, on the Flutter Bounties profile, you can find a link to an application if you would like to apply to become a Flutter Bounty Hunter. With that, thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>